Okay, what's up guys? It's Ricky this is Reality Show. So on this particular episode, we're going to have a small review. We're not going to look at the entire episode, but we're going to look at the scenario out of Abe Fundisi from the Solomon and Boros entire hajias that went on over there. And so we had seen that for the past two, three months, is it? I think we got it. We got the trailer early uh, December, basically. So we're going to see what actually transpired before that actually happened. That, let's see what actually, where it actually started. And so the whole fraternal, the whole bishops, pastors, and every, there is some sort of animosity amongst them. There, there's no unity. They're not united. And that is what, for me, from my position, for Movement Against Abuse in Churches, I see this reflecting in the way that they deal with their congregants in the way that they deal with money, in the, the way that they deal with women, is a reflection of it. Forget about what they say. They can come to the pulpit and talk all the Christianese and quote scriptures and all that kind of stuff. That's not who you are. Who you are is really your character behind the scene when nobody sees you. So I can listen to everybody here, but... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Sitting close to you here. Is okay, so that's where his point, <laughs> okay... That's why Nimrod had said, you can see Nimrod had pulled out there to say, okay, that's your point. Let someone, okay? Pastor it's uh, Mboro. Yeah. He has a relationship. He got a million from Bushiri. So they gave him an extension to, uh, to say this. <laughs> he, he should be, he got a million run yeah. from Bushiri. But do you, uh, again, right? can you, can you, so we should be the, we should be the uh, one uh, uh, that should actually tell us more. Yeah. He should be the one that should actually tell us more. He, he. Today he's supporting Bushiri. The next what, day he's what, not what, what, Bushiri. What proof do you have that he had a million? He he has he said it on no, TV. No, but you. Hey, Nimrod likes drama. <laughs> so he Did said it on TV. He said it on TV. Will... There's one of the people okay. who brought me down and destroyed me. Bushiri is on the top list of those people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, funny show ground. I'm the one who was filling up that place with more than 20,000 people. Okay, so this actually goes back to prove the point. There was actually a guy who came out and spoke about the scenario to say, um, this is where this beef between Mboro and Bushiri actually started from. And so he is actually pinpointing it that... <laughs> I left Swani Showground with a million. I'm coming back. I'm just showing you Bushi. Okay, okay. If I was him, you know, with his character as Solomon, I would have done extremely damage to Bushir because I had opportunities. Give me a chance to explain. Go ahead, Mfundis. Go ahead. Yeah. Antonio, we spoke a number of things quenching that fire. About no, Antonio Fundis. <laughs> no, Antonio is one of the guys. Who so I see. This is. I think maybe that's that's the error there. He feels people have to know everything about him and his life. Just he just puts everything out there. At the same time, even when it's not relevant to understanding, so the Antonio situation, we didn't have to bring that in there because you know this is a show. It's time. So you just explain what actually happened for the million, to, to, for the story of the million. So. By putting other people there, it's now extends it. And so he forgets that you're not alone there. Bushir prophesied about his wife, uh, that the mother-in-law is a witch and all that. With that, he was supposed to even go to jail. Did you, did you, this near police? Okay. But it, 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 it is a Please. <laughs> there, there are things, actually. And that same Antonio. Uh, you see, right there. That's the reason why I was explaining this thing of him not tackling the answer that you, the question that he is given you just answer what you're given particularly on these shows go back and watch mel v's uh dead man rise the, the, the series you can see I, I know i know exactly what's going on here because i also had the same issue you just crowd yourself with what you want to explain now let alone on these particular shows where you are not you don't know what you're going to be asked and stuff like that and so uh, I can already imagine, but if he just sticks to answering, so that's where Solomon actually interjects when he brings up Antonio. If he just stuck to explaining the million, this interjection would not have happened. There, there are things actually, and that same Antonio, uh, he was, I, 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 I was together with him. It's not your turn. It's not we your turn. We did a march against false prophets on these streets it's, it's, to it's the CRL commission with Antonio. 
Weeks later, he took Antonio to Bushiri. But Bushiri gave Antonio money. Can you shut and up I couldn't see and you have your time? This is, he's trying to play a victim. Solomon is right with Mboro trying to paint the, the victim here. But he should have allowed him to finish explaining. Because, you know, even though we know he's going to ramble, but that's a thing that you have to, you know, you have to practice this. <laughs> I remember sending uh, Mel V the uh, messages saying, you know what, I didn't realize that I rambled too much until that show, until that event happens, because it's a very timed uh, event, you know, the, you have a small time to answer, you have a small time to explain, and all that kind of stuff, and so he should have given him time to explain there, and he, Mboro is right on getting to explain. Yes, the point is important to understand the relationship that Mboro then went to, exp to, to establish with Antonio, and do whatever that actually happened between Antonio and Bushiri, but it's important understanding that, and we might not know that, but he should have allowed him to explain that. That's what he's trying to do. Luke, he's trying to play a victim. Did you, you get going the to money? Allow this? Okay, How then let me you, speak. Why should you receive money so whatever, from Bushiri? Okay, okay, this okay, boy, well, well, you know from where the money is coming from? He was poor there. This is now where things just go haywire, okay? So, Mboro also goes into his xenophobic uh, self. This idea that people run from their country. Listen, man, it's a free country. You can come to this country and work as long as you enter legally, okay? And so that part, when people do that, it's a no-no. Now, why does he go there? It's, it's the first thing, first instinct, you know, it's instinct. Uh, when a person is startled, the first thing that comes out of them, <laughs> it's who they are, is either defense, whatnot, curse words, whatnot. So he goes to offense immediately. Uh, the same way you look in the Bible, you see uh, Peter, when, when fear and, uh, comes in, when, he, when they're in the garden, Peter whips out a sword. That's the first thing, instinct. That's the first thing that comes up. And so the concerning part for, for him is that when he, if, when he feels threatened, he goes to attack. And he does it in the worst ways. We found from, an opportunity here play, do in not South play Africa the victim. to try and do make not. himself... A He's a journalist. Just leave it there. And so if... Mporo's character here should have been calm. Is he likes bragging about how many years he's been in ministry. Being in ministry for over 20, 30 years, I expect you to, by now, to have really gathered your character. Know that you're easily offended. No. So at this point, Mporo should have calmed himself down and not think, especially if you are right. If you are right, know when to. <laughs> Do and not play the and, victim and, and here. At the end of the day, do not play the he's victim still here. Part of the and I'm not saying Solomon is wrong on his points. Solomon's points are right. He is playing the victim, but sometimes you have to trust that people can see through that. You are trying to play people. the victim. You're saying so he destroyed your church. Do you have a church? This, uh, uh, this, this Don't play the victim here. You see, that, let me ignore this for it's not necessary. What you're doing. Is, because you see, we, we, are, we must give each other time to speak. And, and this small boy... You see, right there, you should have left Solomon and gone back to explaining the point, you know? And so, and then maybe it would have ceased, you know? And so if he went back to explaining the point, then there would be no need for him, for Solomon to interject again. You are the problem with the church. Look, if you are not, if you are not the problem. problem with this, I want to allow this. With the church. No, 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 no. Okay. I want to allow this. This is the problem. This, right. is thank thank you, thank you. this is the problem okay. with the No, church. I won't no, no, allow okay. this. Thank you, thank you. No, I'm not going to allow this. So what okay. someone right. saying? This. No, 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 no. Okay. I won't allow this. This is the problem. This is the problem with the church. This is the problem with the church. No, I won't allow this. Thank you, thank you. No, I'm not going to allow this. Okay, let's, let's, let's. No, child. Let's, let's. get the money. Let's let, no, no, no. Solomon, Solomon. You have your time. Solomon, let him. No, Solomon. Let him have, let, let him have. You are not a Christian. You don't have the fruits. No, no, no. He questions his fruit, but his fruit also is. So I just wanted to deal with what actually happened. Was anybody right? There were points when Solomon was right, but he should trust that people can see those particular points. And I understand as a person who stands with victims who mostly are reasonable people, he, uh, the, the, the protector in him, which is an, the activist aspect, comes in. <laughs> but sometimes you have to trust that people can see through the playing of the victims. And eventually, he's going to be constrained into the issue of time and getting to explain. And Mboro, again, his character, he's questioning the other person's fruit, but his fruit also. You know, being years in ministry doesn't mean anything. Get your character together. So it's Ricky, this is actually a reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. So who was wrong? 
both <laughs> individually on their particular points. You have to trust that people can see through it. I, there are certain points where I don't have it. There are videos that I just come out laughing. <laughs> Why? Because I trust that people can see for themselves. And then there are videos where it's obvious and I say, if you can't hear anything, we are probably saying nothing. I'm trusting that people can see through it. You know, and if the person can question themselves, if they can't see anything, they'll say, but what is it that he's saying we, can, we should be able to see here, you know, and eventually they'll get there. God has the Holy Spirit for those reasons, to convict people so that they can see these things. It's Ricky, another episode will be down in the pink comments, so do check them out and I'll see you on a later